so hello everyone after we have seen the mechanism of tacrolimus we just see about the pharmacokinetics of tacrolimus that is how does body reacts to the administration of tacrolimus drug and which are the precautions to be taken the for the patient which are taking the medication every day so now we see the pharmacokinetics that is absorption metabolism and elimination of tacrolimus as soon as the dose of the tacrolimus has been administered the absorption phase will start it can be absorbed from the whole gi tract like from duodenum to the large colon its bioavailability is highly variable with the oral administration and it can vary from 5% to the 93% with the mean of around 25% once it has been administered blood concentration will reach at peak level after 2 to 3 hours of the administration and that is considered as concentration max that is cmax so once the tacrolimus has entered into the blood circulation the metabolic phase will start and the tacrolimus undergoes various biochemical reactions like o demethylation hydroxylation and or oxidative reactions which are predominantly carried out by the most dominant detoxification system inside the body that is cytochrome p453a4 and cytochrome p453a5 in the liver and intestinal wall till now eight metabolites with the different efficacy and potency are identified in elimination phase the more than 95% of tacrolimus metabolites are eliminated by biliary route and only 2 to 4% are eliminated by the urinary excretion it has been studied the biliary obstruction is reported to increase the concentration of tacrolimus metabolites in the blood these are different in metabolites of the tacrolimus now we see which are the factors can affect the pharmacokinetic of tacrolimus so this is very important part when we are taking the tacrolimus as a immunosuppression in organ transplant recipients so there are some genetic factors these genetic factors are polymorphism of cytochrome p453 a4 cytochrome p453 a5 and atp binding cassette b1 protein so polymorphism of all these proteins which are involved in the detoxification of tacrolimus can affect the efficacy of the detoxification system apart from genetic factor there are various factor non genetic variant it can be age so pediatric patient required larger doses compared to the adult because the possibly the sh short bowel loop and apart from that the its efficacy of detoxification system is one somewhat higher compared to the adult when we compare the dosage in the race it has been studied the british people has more doses are required for tacrolimus compared to the indian and african patient and that is possibly due to the genet geographical genetic variant of all these proteins which are involved in the detoxification of tacrolimus apart from that if drug has been administered with the fatty food then the availability to the blood will be decreased if if it has been taken in fasting condition then more tacrolimus will be available to the blood as we have discussed the clearance will be taken up by the hepatic cytochrome p450 detoxification system so in case of hepatic dysfunction this clearance can be decreased up to 67% and the same mechanism will applied if the donor liver is of more than 65 years then due to compromised liver functions the clearance will be decreased and they require the smaller dose as compared to the younger liver so these are the non genetic factors which can affect the pharmacokinetic of tacrolimus and we should be careful about all this factor if we are taking the tacrolimus 
methods to prevention of organ rejection this is very important as i told the cytochrome b450 it's a main detoxification system in the body so these are involved in so many drug detoxification detoxification of various toxic substances from the body so any drug which leads to inhibition of cytochrome p450 can increase the tacrolimus level and thereby it can increase the toxic toxicity of the tacrolimus so one should be careful while taking the tacrolimus and they they have to try to avoid this drug which can affect the metabolism of tacrolimus so these are like calcium channel blocker of verapamil amlodipine diltezem dicardipine like antifungal most commonly used antifungal drugs which can also affect the metabolism of tacrolimus like ketoconazole fluconazole itraconazole and uh, ritonavir and erythromycin apart from that some drugs that can leads to induction of cytochrome p450 and thereby it decreases the dosage of tacrolimus and it can leads to underdosing of the drug the drug which can affect the induction of cytochrome p450 that is rifampin rifabutin barbiturate phenytoin and carbamazepin so the person who is taking the tacrolimus for the solid organ transplant he or she should be careful while taking these drugs so thank you so much for your patience listening and have a nice time